Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on daily parkour. Before we get into this video, I have made another plugin tutorial for Server Miner on a really awesome plugin. I'll leave a link to that at the top of the description, so make sure you check that out and then you will get double the plugin content from me. So, this plugin, how do we set it up? Well, all we need to do is build ourselves a track, do a couple of commands, make a few signs, and then we'll be able to play. So this plugin allows you to give your players parkour to complete every day and be rewarded with an amount of money depending on how difficult the track is. So let's go ahead and right click to join. And this track is medium I believe, so that will give us $2,000 if we complete it. Now if we fall down here, there are invisible barriers, we will be sent back to the beginning. But there are also checkpoints, the emerald blocks, and the block at the end is a gold block when you complete it. So let's step on that, and it says $2,000 has been added to your account, and you beat the parkour. You can obviously play it again, but if you do complete it again, you will not get the money until tomorrow. Um, we need to complete it again. So that is pretty much how it works. We are going to... Um, delete the track and create a new one. So let's go ahead and do DPA. This will show us all of the commands and we can do delete followed by the map name test. So what we need to do is create a few signs. This is very simple. Um, you don't need to create the author sign really but it's made by Avenged. So the join sign that's pretty simple. It's DP on the top line and then obviously join on the second and that will make it look like that. Leave sign is exactly the same. DP on the top line, square brackets, and leave on the second line, and that's, uh, that's how you get that sign. Once you've done that, you can do DP, A, and then set spawn, that will set the main spawn for the plugin. There we go. And once we've done that, we can create a map. So if we do forward slash DPA, create, we're gonna call this map hard, and put it on the hard difficulty. So there's easy, medium, hard, and extreme. And depending on how much money you want a player to get when they complete it, you change the difficulty. So hit enter. Once you've done that, there is a few things we can do. So fly round your map, grab some emerald blocks, grab some gold blocks, or a single gold block, and some barriers. So you need to put barriers where players will fall off the parkour course and will be reset. So that's pretty much on the whole floor. So make sure you do that. Uh, it's pretty easy if you do with world edit. I'll quickly show you how to do that. So select one corner, select the other, and then do forward slash forward slash set barrier, like so, and that's how you do that. Next, we need to set a few checkpoints, and all you need to do is grab an emerald block, pop it on the ground, and step on it. Once you're on here, do forward slash DPA checkpoint, and then add, and then the name of the course, which is hard. And once you've done that, that's the checkpoint added, and obviously you can add a few more if you want to. And then you can remove them um, by doing similar commands, just instead of add, put remove, and that will uh, remove the checkpoint. Like so, very straightforward. Finally, at the end, you need to grab a gold block and pop it down. And when players hit this, they will win the parkour map. Now, you can also do forward slash DPA TP to a particular map if you want to know where it is or you lose it for whatever reason. And you can do DPA list. Um, and see what the map is and the difficulty. So it's called hard and it is hard, so um, that's quite a good name for it. Um, I've already been through the delete command and you can also force the um, plugin to change map, but as there's only one map, it won't really do anything. So uh, DPA force and then if there was one called easy, we could change to that if it existed. Make sure you do the command forward slash DPA force and then the new map, which is obviously hard and then right click and you'll be able to join it. So um, let's try and do it in one. And oh, I think we missed a checkpoint there, but if we carry on, hopefully, actually we didn't, we didn't set that one as a checkpoint, did we? Uh, so if we carry on, hopefully we can do it first time. My skills are better than numero uno's, just, but uh, we are both not that great at parkour. Um, but there we go, so $5,000 has been added because it was a hard track instead of a medium track. That is how you set it up in-game. We are going to look at the config files and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the plugins folder, and if we go into daily parkour, we can see all of the different files in here. Up at the top, we have a language folder with three different languages, German, English, and French. And obviously you can choose whichever one you want, suits your server. Next one is the map. So the only map we have left is hard, is the one we just created. This saves the name, the difficulty, and the checkpoints, and obviously where you spawn. Then if we go back, we can go into the config file. This is where you can change the language. You can change the full, checkpoint, and finish block. 
So by default it's obviously gold, emerald and the barrier. Barrier is very useful as it's invisible and makes your map look nice. But you can obviously change it to lava, water or anything like that. I will leave a link to a really useful website where it gives all of the different names for the blocks. Uh, so make sure you put the correct one in. And uh, the join message, whether you want that. Whether you want the announce map change message. And how the signs look. So you can change that as well. Down here you can give people rewards, so as we saw we got two and five thousand dollars for completing the maps, but you could give them a different amount of money or a kit for a temporary amount of time or another command for example. So that is easy to change, you obviously just change the number or create a new line um, with a new command on. So that is how you edit the config.yml. Finally is the data file, this saves the people who have beaten the map so people don't get the money twice. The developer is actually giving away a copy of this plugin. It is premium, so if you want to win a copy of this plugin for free, leave a comment with your favorite Minecraft block, and I'll choose one randomly in a few days, and I'll send you a message. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.